Hi there, I'm Joanne Hugo. I am a visual artist in Victoria. I studied at the Vancouver Island School of Art and I work primarily in abstract work. My work is uh, often very drawing based. I work in drawings and in paintings and my paintings have a lot of drawing in them and my drawings have a lot of painting in them. I'm very interested in doing work that tries to clarify an emotional or physical experience into uh, an image or a drawing. I like to work in drawings because it's very immediate, it's a very physical process and it comes up very quickly for me. So I'm able to tr directly connect to my body and my emotions and get those feelings across onto the paper. So this particular series that I'm working on is one that I've been working on for a number of years and it happens to sort of come around the word of precarious. I'm interested in understanding, oh, I am having a hard time putting it into words, but um, just how our lives, our thinking, our circumstances, our situations and relationships are very much involve trust and, and can change on a moment, on, on a knife's edge. And uh, this particular body of work was produced at a time when a friend of mine was very ill and I used the work to work through my own feelings and emotions and try to gain some understanding and some larger context. And uh, I also worked in this series with ideas around weight, things that are very light, things that are very heavy, how those two things come together and um, it was my intention to try to connect with uh, how I felt in my body and get that onto paper. And Sarah, what you can say about you? Well, my name is Sarah Cowan and um, I'm a visual artist also in, in here in Victoria. Um, I work with drawing and also have moved into working with paper, cut out paper, uh, paper sculpture. I'm very interested in the in the uh, in how paper works. Uh, most people think of it as sort of this very malleable or light uh, substance, but or material. But it, it's actually it's so strong, and it's very hard to manipulate. And, uh, and so, like Joanne, I'm also concerned about, or intrigued by, the, 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 the strength of paper and also its, its, uh, its, its delicacy. And it's, I, I mean, the two are so, um, they're so, they're so different. It's like opposing, and I don't really know what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I met Joanne a long time ago, and um, and we reconnected in art school, and um, and sh when she started working on this series of using the word precarious, and I was you know friends with her, and as she was going through this difficult time with her friend being very ill, but her use of the word precarious really intrigued me, and so we we talked a lot about that. We would get together and have coffee or tea and talk about the precarious nature of life. And at the same time, I was sort of going through my own physical um, health issues. And, and so this idea of the precariousness of our existence, of the precariousness of you know, what can happen in a moment, how it can change, completely change you know, the course of one's life or one's day. Or, and coming to terms with, with the, the physicality of my own body and my own existence, I've worked a lot with um, this idea of, you know, where do I, where do I end and you begin, and how do I want to be in the world, and how do, how do others perceive me, and what are the stories that I tell myself about myself? And Joanne and I have had this ongoing conversation about the narrative, the stories we tell ourselves, and, you know, and how do we get through the day? How I'm, I'm a very non-technical person. I, I, I consider myself a Luddite, except that I drive a car. But, you know, the, 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 the incidence of the hand, how, you know, everything that I do in my life is handmade and that there is a, there is evidence of my hand, whether I'm making dinner or, you know, I, 
I don't use a mop to wash my floor. I get down on my hands and knees. And that's how I want to live my life. And so with this body of work, I had it, the, the shape itself is very cell-like. And, um, and it, this came from, uh, from my health issues. And I was really trying to get into my body and imagining what my cells were like and how they work with each, within each other. It's like, you know, you do one thing and that the reaction and it all has to be cohesive in order for the body to work properly. So I just started playing around with the shape and, and, and I love cutting, I love that hands-on, I love drawing with my knife, you know, and that's what it became and the three-dimensional aspect of it and creating these shapes and uh, the delicacy of the hanging work and this is only the beginning of the installation. Um, so I, I'm, I'm hoping by Monday it will all be up. And uh, yeah, but you know, but it's, so I guess now I can talk a little bit about how the show came to be. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's all, it all actually comes from Joanne's work, Precarious, which intrigued me when she started working on this series. And when I saw the product, uh, uh, her mash, her mindful machinations, you know, and how what she was thinking. And Joanne is a very, very thoughtful. She's full of thought person. And so when she creates a work, there's so much substance behind it because there's so much of her that goes into it. And every time she would show me one of her new drawings, I'd be like completely blown away with the, the you know, with the substance of it. And, but I was also intrigued by this word precarious and, and the way the show ended up evolving was, you know, someone else was going to do it with me and it didn't happen and I called Joanne and she jumped on it and we started seeing the, the true connections between her work and my work and how beautifully they work together. We're, Sarah and I are very fortunate because in our artistic practice we've had each other for quite a number of years to discuss and share ideas and talk things through and so my work has elements of Sarah already in it and her work has bits of me and so it's it seemed very natural that we should show this work together because contrast and body and connection and lightness and heaviness and emotion um, all of these things are deeply ingrained in both of our work. So it's it, there's a really beautiful dialogue between ours, both with the media and also there's lots of contrast. My work is quite dark, hers is very light. Uh, my work is flat, hers takes up space. And yet it all comes from this really lovely, long conversation. That we <laughs> ongoing. <laughs> ongoing, and, and, and it will continue to grow. And, and, and I hope the, that we'll do more of this together. Yeah, yeah. And the questing, you know, the, the questioning that we always have, that we come to when we have our conversations, you know, it's it's ongoing. And we will probably never find the answers, but it, in doing the work mm -hmm. is, is the only reason. And it's an extension of, of our conversations yeah. and, and our relationships and how we are understanding ourselves on here on the planet. Yeah. 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 So we're very excited about it. Yeah. Very excited.